As frontline medical workers receive doses of the Pfizer vaccine, we could see a second option to help prevent COVID within days. Tomorrow, the FDA's outside advisory panel, Verb Pack, will formally review Moderna's vaccine candidate. Next week, assuming the authorization by the FDA of the Moderna vaccine, we would expect to ship 5.9 million doses of Moderna vaccine from this very facility. An FDA review found Moderna's vaccine to be more than 94 percent effective and that it may also prevent the spread of the virus, suggesting asymptomatic infection could be reduced by 63 percent after a single shot. Health experts hope additional data in the next few weeks will confirm even higher levels of protection. Which really would help us then not only uh, uh, protect against uh, this disease, but also potentially eliminate virus circulation from the population. Moderna's vaccine uses the same messenger RNA technology as Pfizer's and requires two doses. But it does not need the same sub-zero temperatures, making it easier to store. For now, it's Pfizer's vaccine reaching the arms of essential health workers nationwide arriving Wednesday at the largest hospital network in the nation's capital and more than 4,000 miles away in Anchorage, Alaska. And as UPS and FedEx track deliveries, both companies tell NBC News they have teams of meteorologists monitoring winter weather conditions around the clock with contingency plans in place in case there are potential delays. Meanwhile, among those who've already gotten their first dose, Angela Mattingly, a housekeeper for the University of Iowa Healthcare. So far, says Angela, no side effects. You feel safer. I do. I feel 100% safer. I can't yeah. wait to get the second dose. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, drive through vaccines for health care workers. I feel like a pioneer. <laughs> I mean, after everything that is done to people I know, it was a no-brainer to come in and get the vaccine. So 